Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's your girl I'm Nate Bajoro, aka Miss Fair for Coloring Back for our entertainment. If you're first time joining me, you must be welcome. Please do make sure that you subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I have so love you and do not forget follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Is it Bolo? I mean, my ninjas. I know yesterday, if you do not watch my shorts, I don't know what you're doing with your life because I did give an update. I make, I filmed videos for you guys. Woke up early, filmed videos for you guys, but I had not actually checked the mic. So the microphone was fine, but the battery was out. So it had this static sound that you could not hear anything that I was saying. It was just and i mean i took everything when i went to the salon and i was like i'm gonna go and edit maybe by mcdonald's you know and stuff and when i got there you guys and i transferred the files my earphones on i just felt like crying because there was really nothing that i could do i did have my camera i could film but i was just too disappointed and i was like you know what anybody gonna die i'll go ahead and just re-record some of the videos and this is one of the videos obviously you guys have been wanting me to talk about Arthur Mafokat. now Arthur Mafokat, you guys has been accused i did not report about it because i was like side eye side eye <laughs> um how many celebrities are gonna come here and be be exposed like if there's people that still think that someone like athama forgot that has been out of the game for years i can't even remember when last he was on anything um is still living a lax life um due to the money that he made then then i mean i i, I can't call you stupid but do we <laughs> do we not okay you know um and so i'm not saying that everyone that lives lux um is involved in one scandal or another um you know maybe he was someone that when he was making his money he decided to be smart and he decided to invest but this is south africa after all it's not a lot of celebrities that are smart like that um you know a lot of celebrities obviously they get into the industry because of looks others are actors actresses that don't have a diploma certificate not nothing when it comes so that but they do have a huge ass you understand um which school of acting did the water vagina go to um you know like i'm just giving an example i don't know it's just a question and i like her i like her but i'm just stating some facts here um so i don't know which school she went to but i would you know obviously want to know um and so th that's the part that i'm actually saying like south african um entertainment industry is is just too corrupt man so yeah anyway i'm gonna go ahead and read the article this from 702 so that you guys can just get the gist of what is going on behind the scenes um or what they are alleging so this is what they are actually saying they're saying that mafokade and others have been accused of um siphoning literary grants funding that was granted to be used for community development projects okay the funds were released to an npo um the south african arts and development association which mafokade has sold um was sole director and those funds were allegedly funneled to business interests controlled by the kwaito star right khanya said they traced the money given to the npo which moved from one bank um account to another before it was allegedly used to buy a villa or lodge okay he added that they were specifically following the funds used to buy this lodge so they can recover the money um we were just following this money from the npo that was supposed to help poor people to buying this property in quoted the siu has frozen a number of properties as a part of this investigation including a guest house belonging to mafokati now before obviously we get into this chende i just want to know is the siu also going to freeze the the the, the assets of people like what are my posts that are involved in shady dealings in my personal opinion where is the 500 billion okay ramash billion like he ain't the only one you know his people is what begging Tyler being investigated um you know people around them getting tenders that were over 300 million rands um tembisa hospital style you know all this change. i don't talk about politics but trust and believe Shibubuki, i watch i just don't want to die you know they, they they kill over there <laughs> myself like okay they're coming for artists we have quite a number of artists that they are alleging that you know they were involved in lottery scandals they have been seizing their properties they've been doing this they've been doing that but 
Like, if y'all are gonna go after corrupt people, go for everybody. Okay, don't just go for a few people. But anyway, Arthur, my forgot then went to setting the record straight. And um, this is how it went down. <laughs> so from the last week, what is the, what has shocked you the most, which has come out of the media? Which wasn't factually true. Okay, thank you. We'll give you that moment. We'll give you that moment. I think we we can see what we'll as much as the media does a great job, at times they really do tear down people. And coming from a space of being a journalist, there are times where we need to hit hard, but we don't understand the level of hitting. Where does it land to? You know, so these are true emotions. We are seeing it live. Uh, it's, it's, it's not staged, it's not acted, you know. We still want to know what, what is it that really has painted, you know. So I think you, have, have you composed yourself a bit? Are you able to answer the question? I think, no, it's the amount of lies. Mm. Now, obviously, as you guys could see, the guy that is giving the interview, honestly, if he was good, I feel like I would have been more interested enough to even look up his name. I'm not. I'm not interested. I personally just feel like, what the hell do you mean, say, like, when we were talking about, oh, media, this media. Like, what do you mean? Like, media is not now supposed to report on allegations that are going on. This is a real thing. This is a real thing. This is not... A lie. And I think that this is the part that people don't understand. If the SIU unit is investigating Athama Fokati and bloggers or enters or, or media reports about it that he is being investigated, they did not lie. Because he is being investigated. Now the problem would be if media was saying that he's being investigated and he did not, then that would be a different thing. And so the fact that, you know, this this interviewer like came on to act like, you know, do you see these are the side effects of media? These are the I'm like, bro, way. Which because media is doing what media is supposed to do, covering stories and covering this day. But I think that the the biggest thing that I can also just go ahead and say is that sometimes if you never got the privilege to ever attend psychology classes, especially psychology 101 is very important. Um, I think that you can actually help yourself by investing in a book. You can just read it for your own well-being, for your own knowledge. You can, it will help you a little bit. And let me tell you why. Emotion, being emotional works, number one. The first thing, tears need to come out of your eyes. <laughs> you is not coming out here and being emotional and there's no tears in your eyes like if you is crying you need to cry if you is crying you need to cry you cannot be coming out here and crying not crying how is you crying and there's no tears that i'm saying for me maybe you know i don't know i use a decent phone um so I don't know if maybe the quality is just not good enough but i didn't see any tear over there you know but it happens it happens maybe those tears had to be captured on 7k and i think this is a 4k max so maybe you know it needs to be captured on 7k but i didn't see any tears that's the first part the second part let me tell you tears do not work too much when money is involved and i'll explain to you guys right now majority of people are emotionally controlled and that is why you know most of us we, we we get into bad decisions we do this we do that sharp there is a few percentage of people that 
cannot easily be manipulated emotionally so even when you're crying and you're talking about a situation they will sit there and look at you and be interested in i want to hear what you have to say i'm not gonna look at the emotional part of you but when you earn money and even larger group comes to that you understand whenever money is there people stop being sensitive a lot of people <laughs> and i'm telling you the truth this is like if I, I want to give you an example it's the same thing as let's say there's a there's a group of women you know and and these women are all divorcees um you know they're all together and they're supporting each other and they decide let's start playing uh, stock fell maybe every month we put in five thousand reds right sharp give december no or give november uh, the woman that is carrying money says oh guys you know um my my ex-husband he did this he did that and she's crying they are all going to relate that emotional aspect that emotional part is going to come in but if she says my husband was doing this and guys i ate all the money i am telling you ain't nobody gonna be out there with emotions everyone's gonna be like i want my money i understand what happened but just give me my money. you should have told me you should have the People become rational when money is involved. So for us, I'm going to actually go there and, and be like, oh. <laughs> it's not going to work because money is involved. That's the part of psychology that you need to actually study. Or you need to just observe people enough. You will know and understand that money literally changes everything. Okay. If you was talking about something different, it would be a different story. But you was talking about money, Shibubunke. I'm not interested in how emotional my forgot is becoming. I want to know, did you buy that lodge, that alleged lodge with money that was supposed to go to the poor people? And no matter where he goes, if someone can go to a community and say, hey, guys, Adama Fogadi was given 100 million reds and that 100 million reds was supposed to come to this community and be split evenly. No matter how much Adama Fogadi can go to that community and cry. They won't want to hear any story. All that they will want is money. So I think that the best bet for him was he was supposed to compose himself. Compose himself, not be emotional, not cry, not nothing, talk you talk and then at the end if you are getting emotional then you let it go you can cry but that is after you have put your point across properly and do you understand what i'm saying like i don't think it's the best idea for him to come out here and be like <laughs> some people are even calling him the south african r kelly i'm just like r kelly at least had tears man r kelly had emotions man r kelly was up r kelly was this like i don't forget what you just did Serge so was not even a good actor and i'm so surprised because was this nigga not just acting on mubango well not just been a long time but was he not an actor like if juice or was an actor i know that you're a musician but i think there was a time that he acted man like you mean to tell me that you couldn't even like you know like dig deep right in you so that you can go ahead and come out for us and act but no matter how much you act i'm telling you so a lot of people will fool as long as money is involved if it was a story of you like addressing the allegations that we an abusive man you know you beat up sissy or something like you know some of us would be interested oh man you know but when it comes to money no we need to know what is going on but anyway this for me was honestly funny and i'm not saying that men cannot be emotional men and women both can be and they should be and i'm someone that honestly like stands for that you guys know me if i'm emotional i'm emotional i'll cry if i want to okay um or if i'm talking and i feel i'm getting too emotional i will cry but you will never find me crying if they say i stole money <laughs> i'm gonna sit and i'm gonna address money issues i'll cry at the end that's when i'll be like oh, finally i'm done with this then i can cry if i'm hurtful or if i'm being hurt but you is not going to just come out here and cry when they're asking you oh what is like there was just no reason man hi hi oh one my forgot his father stop it <laughs> wrong <laughs> wrong man <laughs> And when it is, I love you guys. Stay blessed. Why are coming up with what you guys think? Did you believe um, Arthur's, um, you know, 
I believe acting horrible what, what I did. Um, do I think he was emotional? No, I don't think that he was emotional. Um, I think that he needs to just explain. Maybe it's emotional that they, they assist and or they're closing their lodge or whatever. Maybe that's the part that I would believe is being emotional about. But this was not even like highly yes it trended but it wasn't something that was like wow got the world shook trended straight for five days no it wasn't so anyway i love you ninjas stay blessed and i will see you guys for the next upload bye ninjas